What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to more Phoenix of Mortal Rising and Gates of Tartaros. Make our way up the mountain. Like, if we go to map, um, I if we're gonna find a. I'm kind of curious if I could, like, warp out of here. Like, could I glide on down? Actually, this isn't very. Not very climb friendly, is it? I mean, I feel like there should be a way, like a proper way up this thing. Not uh, me just like hopping up from little footholds that I see. Then again, Typhon does kind of seem like an asshole, so he probably wouldn't have created proper, uh, proper climbing path. that if he followed his brother into the vault, there'd be no turning back. Wait, so is this like the end of the game? Oh. Oh, wow, it is. You're about to face Typhon. Once you, you will not be able to return to Golden Isle to continue your progress. If you have any unspent... A Typhon save file will be created to allow you to reload this moment later. Do you wish to enter the vault? Yeah, so it looks like you did just have to climb straight up. Um, well, I mean, I got coins to spend, but at the same time, I don't think I want to try and climb back up here. That was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, let's, let's go for it. I mean, I'm sure I can free roam after the fact. It would be really odd if the game did not allow me to continue my journey. Beautiful Hera, Mother Divine, wisest Athena, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Zelus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce even the heart of a hummingbird. Painted pigs. All of them. Help me! Someone help! Someone! Behold your god! Am I supposed to see something right now? Or just, you know, it's kind of just like, uh, dark, can't really see anything. These weaknesses will be their undoing. None of this is your fault. You're the victim. Where's my brother? The liar? Why would I want that on the throne of Olympus? I should thank you for exposing the truth, little one. Where is he? Where he should be. Stone like all the rest. You, however, have yet to make a mistake. You have returned the gods' essences. You have slain beasts and monsters. You have shown yourself worthy. Perhaps you are my champion. I would never kill the gods for you. Too bad. I suppose it's against your nature. You are half one yourself, you know. No! 
Enough talking. Time to fulfill the prophecy. Dude has like a snake coming out of his backside, one hand that's made of tentacles, one's a big old fist. <laughs> and he's got two two little snakes. They're almost like secondary arms. It's weird. You have no idea how to wield your power, you glorious run. Boom, 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 oh. Oh. I don't think I can actually stun him. Big box. No way that's the whole fight. Typhon fell to Phoenix's Shit, maybe plane. it is. Yes! Way to go, Phoenix! No, Prometheus, there's no way. High five! Or do nothing. Alas, we could not create the perfect future together. But I bear you no ill will. For you have shown no flow. You deserve to know. What I have known all along. With his final breath, he revealed the truth. Hermes is your father. What? Phoenix is a demigod? My... my father? Hermes? Eager to speak with Hermes and to see his brother restored despite his ill deeds, Phoenix began to climb out of the pit. If he got to the surface quickly enough, he could see everyone reanimated from stone. Well, I lost the bet. Brilliantly won, Prometheus. Just a few things aren't adding up. Pan is also Hermes' son. Yes. He has hooves. Phoenix, no hooves. You're right. And I just don't see what Typhon's plan was with the god-killing potion. He didn't even seem to use it. And you know, Phoenix definitely isn't going to see any mortals turn back. Because you're the one who turned them all to stone. Yeah, you and I fought about it right before I went to Hades for that party. Pieces starting to fall into place. What did you do, Prometheus? You wouldn't see reason. So I set some events in motion. Wait, what? The storm that hit Phoenix's ship? I did that. Well, my brother Atlas did it for me. Wait, how did you say Typhon got free? I did it. But that was Atlas too. And this story? Mostly true. Until the end. It served its purpose, keeping you here with me. Typhon didn't steal your powers of prophecy. They're never better. Much better than your powers of memory. In fact, I once warned you, but you didn't listen, of course, that if a certain nymph was ever to have a child by you, Thetis. That child, eldest of Thetis and Zeus, would end you. But, but Phoenix was mortal. Phoenix was injured. Not once. I made that up. Despite the extreme heat, Phoenix carried on undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. No human could dream of holding that hammer. 
It's over. Phoenix is Helios Ash. No one can handle those bolts but me. No, it cannot be. Father of your line is not father of your kin. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown. You know on high. It's time for you to come home. Wait, so do I actually am I about to fight Zeus? Hermes isn't Phoenix's father. Phoenix is my son! Zeus! You turned the mortals to stone? It was you! It was me. So Typhon was telling the truth. Why? I shaped this, the fifth age of humanity, out of iron. I brought them to life. Generations passed, and I saw the pain so carelessly dealt out, the cruelty, the decadent selfishness, and it was getting worse. I thought mortals were a failure, so I ended it. But I know now that I made a mistake. Who am I to judge imperfection? If I've learned one thing watching you save my children, it's that they are flawed. Mortals are exactly like the gods. In fact, we... I am worse. You'll all be better off without me. Oh. Yes! It is time to complete the prophecy. I am so proud of you. Promise me you'll be a better leader, but more importantly, a better father. I know you're not perfect, but you're my dad, and that's what matters. You're not going to kill me? What? You... you thought you were getting out of this that easy? Saying you made a mistake is the first step. Now, to quote Ares, you have to actually be better. There are like five, maybe six steps. I'd say more like twelve. Life! Isn't a staircase or a charity race? You either get it right the first time or you fall. Of course, he's still alive. It seems I overestimated you, little one. There are no second chances. Typhon, stop! So, the Hermes thing was just a red herring. <clears throat> Typhon just pretended to be dead. Hermes came here, or not Hermes, Ta. Phoenix came here to confront his father, who was actually Zeus. That looks like Typhon was showing up, expecting... I need for this fight. The Olympian poison perfected me and my children. Phoenix, child of Zeus and Thetis, you may be a god, but we are god killers now. Uh, can I? Is it possible to? No, it's not. Shit. Do I even have the stuff I'd need? I am... I mean, this is a full-blown vault, it looks like, with objectives and shit that I need to get through. The bigger problem is I don't have... I don't have my, uh, attack or defense potions. There's no way I'll be able to pull off a boss fight without those. Final boss? I mean, maybe I could, like... Inch, inch of victory out, but I think what we're, <laughs> what we're gonna have to do here is uh, this is the auto save right before the before all those events. I mean, we can skip all the cutscenes and shit, but I think what we need to do is reload 
I need to stock up on potions. Nope. Uh, I need to go even further back. Um, this one, maybe? Typhon save one. That looks appropriate. I need to load up, get the potions, get any... I mean, I had a feeling that wasn't the, the final fight when we did it. I was like, eh, it seemed kind of easy. Um, so let's go to... Yeah. Um, I don't have any ambrosia or anything, but I got coins to spend. Damn, that's a big jump in the, the sword damage. Okay, now we're cooking. Two. Only two. But I think I can get by with two. Um, over here, what do we need? Grab that. This should actually be pretty dirty with the lightning now, because I have that charging in air thing, so I can... Could consistently get headshots. Typhon's Rage. I don't know what that is. to have more defense potions but <clears throat> the biggest thing here is the attack potion having the attack potion means that I can actually uh, actually get like real good damage in I think it's like a hundred percent damage boost on those potions which is pretty significant actually with 11 seeds I probably could upgrade them even further but 15% of a health chunk on hit. Um, fuck. I know I just got over here, but... I do think I'm gonna want that. Let me try and find a fast travel over here. Near, uh, this thing. Oh. 
In his travels, Phoenix found a crumbling wall, a casualty of Typhon's rage. He noticed something in the ruins. Never gets old. Hello, hero of mine. <sighs> what are you doing here? If you think you're gonna steal my stuff again... I said I was sorry. And your stuff is a stretch. You found most of it lying around. Oh, this used to be a hot spot for the whole island. You couldn't imagine the parties. <sighs> so many good memories turned to ash and dust because of Typhon. Speaking of that villain, since I've selflessly agreed to help you on your journey... Have you? I'll level with you. I didn't really understand much of what the Oracle said. A wise child? Hero come home? I mean, what is that? Where do we go from here? I guess we could use a little more detail. My thought exactly. So, we consult Apollo, of course. As the god of prophecy, he must know our final destiny. Or, you know... Have a vague idea, anyway. Okay. But we're not stealing anything for an offering. We are not not stealing anything. Thing is, Apollo doesn't visit the island anymore. Upside, he wasn't here, so Typhon didn't get him. Downside, he's still not here. Then how... There is a way. It'll involve me, you, a couple of monsters, and three magic rocks. Doesn't that sound fun? Well, I have some rocks, but not three. Well done, you skeptic you. Bring all three rocks to me at the big tree in the Valley of Eternal Spring. And you'll get a magic show you won't soon forget. And he's gone. Can't retrieve Apollo's magic rocks, and I've already gotten one of them? What? What is his quest? It's a weird ass quest. I'm like very closely following a DoorDash thing to see if I'm gonna get food. I'm still basically snowed in, but DoorDash showed they were doing deliveries today. And I'm like, I don't know who's out here with the snow tires doing deliveries, but this isn't a visual bug and true. Bless your heart. Because I've eaten all the food that I secured. I mean, obviously by the time this video goes live, everything will have been back to normal. Um, and Nashville wasn't even you know, remotely close to as bad as Texas got, you know, like, I, I never lost power or anything, but I have been, uh, basically the first sign of snowfall, I managed to, to haul ass out to, to Publix and stock up on food, and I severely underestimated just how much I would eat being stuck at home with unable to, to do anything, so... The only thing left is I have a uh, a thin crust pizza that's been in the freezer for you know, whoever knows how long. Pretty sure the wife bought it ages ago. I mean, I, to be fair, I do have a lot of meat. I have a lot of like steaks and hamburger and you know stuff like that. But all of that is frozen. So if I was gonna do all the meat, I would need to uh, I would need to get get it all and start thawing it on out and then get the grill fired up and. Another thing is, I prefer to save uh, all the steaks for workout days. Like, I like a good steak, but the reason I eat so much steak is usually because I'm doing, like, real heavy workouts, like powerlifting type stuff. And with powerlifting, if you are not getting the right amount of protein, you're going to have a bad time. Like, when people always talk about, like, oh, I did leg day, leg day sucked, I'm so sore. Like... If you do leg day and then you feel like you're dying for three days afterwards, you're probably not getting the protein you need to recover. Because I'll do leg day and like the day after I'll be sore. But 
by day two, I'm completely fine. And it's because I get like, you know, 200 grams of protein or something uh, per day when I'm in a workout rotation. Like I load up on protein. So to, to close out the, the story, the point is I have lots of things I could cook, but it feels like a waste to be just eating a steak every single day when I'm not working out. I mean, the protein's not going to hurt, obviously, but, you know, I pay for all those steaks to have them as post-workout meals, not it's just I'm snowed in, so I guess I'm eating steak every day. Which even then, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, I don't think it's healthy for me to just eat steak for, uh, lunch and dinner every single day for an entire week. I'm pretty sure there's like a limit to how much red meat one person is really supposed to take. And I think that might go over that limit. Getting back the second time has been way faster. I think we'll, we'll get through our battle with Typhon, skip the cutscenes, and get up to where uh, we're about to go into the vault. Then we can do that vault in the next episode. Trying to skip this, but Shell nothing's working. Artemis, with her deadly aim, set to pierce even the heart of a hummingbird. Pain dead pigs. All of them. Help me! Someone help! Someone! Behold your god! Here we go, I think it's... Like the... What? 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 Uh, no. You have no idea how to wield your power, you glorious rat! Not use my uh, defensive potions. There we go. What not? Eager what you eat and I think the storm that hit Phoenix's ship. I'm okay there, but not I made that up. Despite the extreme heat. Phoenix carried on. Hermes isn't Phoenix's father. And now we are back to the vault. Come. Fate. 
All right, so we're back to the Vault of Typhon. We're going to wrap things up here. Next episode, we're actually going to tackle the vault. So stay tuned, and I will see you all then with more.